Hi you, welcome back. Today we're using the pan fry technique to make a very simple Chinese garlic chicken wing recipe with only three ingredients. It is great for party, for your kids, and also appetizer for a movie or a sports game. As usual, I'll lead you step by step through this recipe and explain to you why we do what we do so you can truly understand the process to higher your success rate. Even though this recipe is kind of hard to mess up. But anyways, let's check it out. Hi friends, this is Erica right here. I'm a Taiwanese citizen currently living in America. Cooking and traveling are my passion, so I'm here to share a few of my favorite Asian recipes. I make kitchen trivia short and Asian home cooking recipe on this channel, so if that interests you, please subscribe and keep watching. Chicken wings are very common and popular ingredients because it is an awesome group food to eat with your friends and affordable. My favorite part of a chicken has been its wings since I was a little baby. And my mom will cook it for me at least once a week. And every time I saw it, I'm just super excited. But after I moved to the US, I realized five chicken wings in a restaurant or takeout place can cost me more than $10. So going out and eat chicken wings isn't just not really a realistic thing for a day to day basis. Not to mention that you don't know what oil that they use to fry up your wings, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be EVOO and it's gonna be some sort of cheapest oil that they can find. So homemade chicken wings becomes one of my favorite things to make at home. Today I'm gonna share with you a super simple but mouth-watering Chinese garlic chicken flat wing recipe that only takes three ingredients and some common sauce that we already have at home. And make sure you stick to the end of the video where I teach you how to properly eat this Chinese chicken flat wing. But now, without further ado, let's check out our ingredients. Screenshot! Here are the ingredients that we'll need for today's recipe. All we need is 12 chicken flat wings, minced garlic, and scallion. For seasoning, we'll need some cooking wine, soy sauce, oyster sauce, salt, and pepper. Now, why picking chicken flat wings? Flat wings is actually one of the most popular part of the chicken in China. If you check out the price there, you can see that it's even more expensive than chicken breast. Because flat wings meat tastes as tender and juicy as thigh if not better. But lots of people prefer drumstick over flat wings because it's a little hard to eat with its two bone structure inside. Quoting my husband's word, too much work with not enough meat. So being a good wife like me, I found out a way to solve my husband's first world issue. And this can also make it easier for kids to enjoy as well. But I gotta warn you up front, this is a very complicated and hard step to do. So make sure that you pause and rewind our video a few times so you can actually master this skill. Now, this is what you do. Put your flat wing on the cutting board and use a sharp knife and slice through the center of the wing and turn it into two mini drumsticks. Do you get that? I was worried that it's gonna be too complicated, so let, let's do this one more time. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. I believe a 10 years old can master this pretty easily. The only thing you might find it a little hard is identify where the bone's at. So the best way to do it is to use one of your hand to locate one side of the bone and slice into the meat. I like to slice open the center of the meat and then look for the joint of the two bones. You don't have to worry about looking for the exact location of the joint, but you can use your pressure to just break the bone apart. When you cut into the bone, you might see some blood looking thing that is all right. Doing the simple step is not only gonna make it easier to eat, but also widen up the surface area of the wing so it can be cooked faster and more evenly. Another bonus is that if you're trying to run a party today, this is a very simple step to double up your portion. And we can just shame our guests if they take too much. <laughs> now after you separate all the wings, put your dried wings into a mixing bowl and add in cooking wine to minimize the gaminess of poultry. Soy sauce and oyster sauce for umami and salt and pepper for seasoning. You see how each seasoning all have its purpose. With the right intention and ratio, seasoning really don't have to be too complicated. Now use your hand to massage the wing for around two minutes and let it sit for five minutes. In the meantime, we'll mince our garlic, chop up some scallion ring, and some chili pepper if you like spicy. But this is not needed. I'm having a little stomach issue recently, so I can't have any spicy food. So I'm going to use bell pepper here instead for a pop of color and some extra crunch. And when that's all done, let's start cooking. 
Heat up your wok until it starts smoking, which is around 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. In order to prevent the animal protein from sticking to the wok, there's a technique that a Chinese chef uses a lot, which we call it the hot wok cold oil. We'll heat up the wok until it's almost at the smoking point, and then we'll add in our cold oil and add in our food before the oil heats up. Note that heating up your cookware without anything inside only works on the iron cookware or any cookware that doesn't have non-stick coating on top. If you're using Teflon pan or one of these porcelain coating pans, you want to always make sure there's something either liquid, oil, or ingredients in your wok before you turn on your heat. Now, like we mentioned earlier, the pan is already hot. We'll add in our extra virgin olive oil alongside with our wings. Keep the heat in medium to brown up all sides of the wings. Make sure to constantly flip your wings around to check on the sides that is touching the wok to prevent burning. Generally, as long as the surface is well colored, the center will also so be done. Now, turn the heat to medium low and dig out a hole in the center of the wok. We'll fry up our minced garlic to activate its fragrance. Hot oil is the best media to carry out the aroma of our spices and herbs. So that's why we don't want to just throw our garlic on top of the chicken wing and instead we want it to come in direct contact with the hot oil and wok. Now as soon as you can smell the garlic aroma, which will take around 5 to 10 seconds only, mix them well together. Last step, you can turn off the heat, top it out with some scallion ring, bell pepper for color, and done! Chinese style garlic flat wings is ready. Oh, it smells so good. So now it's time to show you how to easily enjoy this dish. But first things first, let's pop that beer. Or, or Coke if you don't drink. <sighs> nice. <laughs> now obviously this is just chicken wing cut into half, so you can eat it how you normally eat chicken wing. But if you remember, one of the reasons that we cut into this piece is because it makes it easier to eat. So instead of trying to bite into the bones and looking for the meat, you can easily eat this in one bite. Just use your finger to hold on to the bone on one end of the chicken wing. And then you can put it all into your mouth and pull out just the bone, like this. Mmm, so good. Mm, super simple. Give it a try. Oh, you're still here? <laughs> Before you go, let's learn how to say garlic chicken wing in Mandarin Chinese. Suan xiang ji chi. Garlic chicken wings. Suan xiang ji chi. Thank you for cooking with me till the end. Let me know if you like this recipe by giving this video a thumbs up. It's only gonna take you a second, but it means a lot to me and my channel. I make video on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday, so remember to hit that bell and you'll never miss out. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!